Korea celebrates National Liberation Day on August 15th. As the historic date approaches, the National Museum of Korean Contemporary History is displaying old newspapers that were censored by the Japanese government. Kim Hyo-sung met with an artisan who played a key role in this project. These harshly drawn red marks are traces of Imperial Japan on Korean paper. During the colonial rule from 1910 to 1945, freedom was scarce, and so was freedom of the press. So the Korean newspaper Chungyeibo had to be censored. Anything that hinted of Korean independence, defended Korean activists, or shed a bad light on imperial Japan was struck off by the Japanese government. But what Imperial Japan had tried to keep from the world is now openly displayed in the lobby of the National Museum of Korean Contemporary History. Japan has tried to control the remembering the history. So it, is, it can say that it's important to remember the history of the colonial period at this Liberation Day of Korea. Before going on display, these old newspapers first had to go through the hands of artisan Chong Chenzong. The paper from the Japanese rule is made out of pulp, so if it's old, it oxidizes and breaks down. So I tried to use minimal water and tried to fill in the cracks with traditional Korean paper. It was a very difficult process. Chong Chenzong is a master in the art of breathing new life into paintings and paper artifacts. He's honed his craft for over 40 years. And he's used his skills to revive Korean newspapers published during the Japanese rule. But even for him, this was a challenge because the papers were so brittle and fragile. It took about six months for this project. There aren't just one or two pages, but a hundred of them. And we had to pay deep care to every single one of them. But despite the arduous process, he says that it's worth it, because the revived pieces will help remind generation after generation of the painful past Korea has been through and the cost the country had to pay to finally get its freedom back. Kim Yeonsung, Arirang News.